Hey, hey everybody, what's up? It's Agent Nemitz. Welcome back to a Snapshot review video. We are in Snapshot 18W49A, uh, probably the second to last Snapshot before Christmas hits. Um, yeah, and actually this one's kind of festive. Uh, they're getting in the spirit. I can tell they're getting in the spirit of Christmas with this one. Uh, for starters, you can see this beautiful village behind us. This is a brand new village type. It's called the Snowy Village. Now, don't get mixed up with the Taiga Village. It's very different from that. Uh, Taiga Villages spawn in the Taiga Biome uh, or Taiga Biome Variations, and they didn't add in any changes to that this week, but they did add this biome, which is the Snowy Village. Uh, these can be found in whatever place I am right now, uh, which is the Snowy Tundra. These can be found in the Tundra Biomes, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much snow. Uh, if you want to check these out, here's what I usually do for these to get um, the new villages to spawn in is just go into the new settings um, and change it to world type buffet or buffet I think it's called and then uh, choose what biome you want and obviously I chose snowy tundra and so there's a giant snowy tundra world that we're in right now um, to show you guys this but let's uh let's get in and start checking out some of these new buildings and new features I really like this build style super cool they're branching out and I love it so very much um, I think there's another tundra one over there which might have different buildings we'll possibly check out but uh yeah super happy about this one new village type in a new biome or not a new biome but a newer biome whatever you know what i mean <laughs> so let's check things out in this these things spawn naturally the lanterns these are natural spawning no what is this strip dark oak is it just me or does that look wrong that looks wrong it just doesn't look right um interesting motoring interesting anyway so uh, as you can see because we're in a tundra you know the only trees that usually spawn here are the spruce trees so that's what they use they use what they have they use spruce they have all spruce spruce stripped spruce you know door spruce everything spruce everything um pretty cool i like i like that they're uh doing that and this uh this building here has a double door a nice little blue bed very cozy very comfy and some furnaces for your smelting needs uh some other building types that spawn here are igloos that's very fancy this one here has a nice little nice little uh white bed you know white bed snow area and then a table with a with a torch on top it's beautiful uh that's super cool uh moving right along this building here has a little eh, has a little l shape uh ooh, nice and then it has you know a smithy table smith and table very cool uh the path generation is still wacky because um you know they just plop these down wherever <laughs> and uh they plop villages down wherever and you can see the height difference is dramatic and the paths don't generate super well but hey it's whatever there's another two wide building right there um ice spawning everywhere super cool this is a different building uh, those are messed up but uh yeah Ooh, hello hi Ooh, you have a nice little fireplace with a smoker whoops uh and some stone very nice oh hi pigs you'll stay there so you are the butcher then you're the butcher butched up go get him butch um <laughs> Look at this, look at this fancy little centerpiece here. That's awesome. Has, has a nice bell. Super cool. Has those things. What, uh, lanterns, lanterns. <laughs> All around. Oh, wow. They're using diorite. And a blast furnace. Oh, hey, it has a chest. Oh, iron ingots. Very nice. Super cool. Uh, good use of the new, uh, diorite stairs. Very cool. And it looks like they have beyond everything that's already dotted around like this the city center these are variations of the lighting posts and i really like that they're using that style um very cool and then it looks like they have snow dotted around along with packed ice and oh wait wait a minute that's not just a that's not just a normal thing that's a building it's made out of packed ice and blue ice what in hi guy what are you doing here what are you shepherd okay um wow blue beds furnace beautiful and then oh guy got themselves a little uh oh that's fancy they know they know don't they pigs this is a little pig pen um and to make this not uh this isn't normal these are stairs that are waterlogged to give a little water trough that's so fancy oh they're 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 learning they're learning how to build oh hey just a lone house up top here what you got oh hi nitwit 
nice nice just a small little house that's beautiful again uh, i'm just checking out everything that's in this village a little sampling another little uh, igloo here oblong igloo oblong oblong glue uh yeah i'm just doing a little sampling if you want to see like all the building types i guess you can find here Ooh, ooh, hello blue carpet hello fletching table that's cool different very different um and then another igloo oh this one's different hey is that that's a nice uh, bush you got there oh uh, sorry i didn't mean to bother you uh yeah <laughs> Anyways, so uh, if you want to check out all of these, I highly recommend you go check out Exumavoid's video. Uh, he does all of the all the building types of each village in his. Ooh, this is different. And then hey, oh what, what? Oh yeah, he can't right click on those yet. But uh, yeah, you know what that is? That's a smoker. So that's probably another like pig pen type house situation. But yeah, if you want to if you want to see all the building types, go check out Exuma's video. This is a brand new, brand new building style or, or place or whatever you want to call it. Very cool. I love it so much. Ooh, they even got the diorite poking out the top for chimney. Very cool. Um, this isn't the only village. Well, this is a brand new village type. This isn't the only village thing that they added. They also redid the Savannah villages. I almost said Savannah villages. <laughs> Silly me. Uh, anyways, they also updated the Savannah Villages, so let's go hop over in a different world. We'll check out some of the Savannah Villages. Alright guys, so we are here, and this is a nice little fancy village here. Nice little Savannah Village for our viewing pleasure. And, uh, oh, whoa, are those new sheep textures? Ooh. Ooh. I think it's a new sheep texture. Anyways, maybe not. Maybe I just never saw the sheep texture before. Anyways, so yeah, Savannah Village is overhauled. You can see a little overview of what we got right here. We're going to be checking out all these buildings. Uh, very cool. I'm excited for these. Uh, again, they used all like things that can be found in and around the Savannah Village. Very fine. Ooh, these this have a nice floor. Yellow and orange terracotta. Smooth stone. Excuse me. Smoker with a chimney. Ooh, it even poked through. That's nice. And then just random cobblestone block with a... Uh, okay, okay. The pigs are out. The pigs have gotten out. So that's not good. Anyway, so... Yeah, that is nice. Nice little building here. Ooh. Ooh. Does it have a foundation? It does. Look at that. They use two tall foundation. Wow. Lots of acacia. Acacia log. Uh, ooh. They even got a, a little thing here. It's, wow. Little flower, flower bed. That's the name. Um... Ooh. Ooh. So I'm just gonna sit down and read a book at the lectern. Lectern, does that have use yet? No. Uh, but the we're orange and wow, holy. The, the orange on orange is insane right there. <laughs> Carpets, very nice. Uh, oh, hey, uh, what in the? How? How you stay alive? How the path blocks stay? I don't know. Your village, your, uh, your, your, your crops got messed up, guys. Might want to replant, rethink. Uh, anyways, this here, ooh, red bed, very nice. And that's a red, red, red terracotta. Man, they use terracotta up the wazoo here. Whoa, you can get tall grass in these. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. Gonna be searching for some savanna villages. Ooh, brown banner, very interesting. Uh, oh, hi. Nice, nice naturally placed farm, just out in the open. What is this? Melon. So melon is planted here now? Would you look at that? Melon spawns naturally. Oh, that's so cool. Amazing. Oh, what's in here though? Ooh, brewing, brewing stand. Hi, I'm just, I'm just looking. And ooh, nice stains, stained glass. Chicken guy here. I don't have seeds. You don't want them. Anyways. Oh, hay right in the middle of a path. <laughs> that's uh, I don't think that's planned out very well. Here, let me fix your path for you. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it, this wasn't planned very well, guys. I wouldn't put a, I wouldn't put hay bales in the middle of a path and, and growing things in the middle of a path. That doesn't seem very smart, but, uh, hey, whatever you want to do, I, I'm not going to judge. Uh, ooh, nice, nice town center with double well action going on and a bell. Gotta always have a bell. That's amazing. Uh, what's this building here? How do I get in? Oh, over here. Right here. Oh, hi. Uh, you got a chest? Ooh, bucket. And the orange bed. Wow, the orange on orange, I tell you what. Oh, hi. That's a fancy design. Another orange bed. Hey, how'd you get there? Goodbye. Uh, very cool. I like this a lot. A yellow, yellow. Here we go. Yellow, yellow, kiss a fellow. Don't know why I just said that. What is wrong with me? 
Uh, oh, wow, this is major orange on orange right now. I like it though, it looks good. How do you do that? And then a crafting table just naturally in here, that's great. And, ooh, double, like a little double story we got going here. Red down the middle, brewing stand and on the floor, and then a, a chair. Oh, oh, hi. Okay. They're really putting their heart and soul into building these, aren't they? It's looking good. Ooh, fully grown melon. What happened here? Is that the texture? Huh. That seems broken. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, we already seen that one. And we, I think we already seen this one too. But yeah. Uh, I've seen videos where there was some of these buildings were on stilts. Yeah, like lofted above the ground. Very cool. Oh, hey, there's... What? What is that? Whoa. So this guy's like secluded. Just little hay bales on the way. Uh, can't even get over here. But wow, look at this farm design. That is fancy. That is a fancy farm right there. What a great idea. And then hay bales and just a random house over here. Oh, look it. Look. He has... Oh, it's a... What? He has two doors. I don't judge. I don't judge. Oh, a saddle. Oh my goodness. This is the house right here. No wonder it's secluded. There's a saddle. That's awesome. They're starting to use banners in great ways. That's awesome. So cool. So yeah, this is some new Savannah buildings. Very good. Very good. Very good. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. So now, the next thing that they added... I'm just going to do it in here. I'm just going to do it right here. Oh, you guys are going to love this. It is called... A uh, sweet berry. Yes, it's a new food item. Sweet berries. Sweet berry. That's awesome. Sweet berry Jesus. <laughs> can I plant here? I can. Look at that. I gotta get all this grass out of here. Anyways, so with these sweet berries, they're super cool. There's different stages. Let's grab some bone meal so we can bone it up. Bone meal it up. Um, different stages. So when you plant them, they look like a cute little bush right here. And it looks like they're evergreen type thing. Kind of kind of like the spruce leaves. Yeah, it's a very evergreenish type thing. And that's actually where you find them. You find the berries in... Commonly found in Taiga, Taiga Hills, and Taiga Mountains. Rarely found in Snowy Taiga and Snowy Taiga Hills and Snowy Taiga Mountains. So there you go. Uh, anything that has the word Taiga in it, basically, you can find it in. The snowy versions are going to be rare. The other ones are going to be... A little more easy to find but yeah they're like an evergreen type plant it looks like uh, and they do have different stages and they have different properties too it's like look it's like a cobweb but not at the same time so you know how cobwebs slow you down oh and I, wow I can't even jump out look I'm pushing jump it won't let me jump out but uh you, cobwebs make you go slow and so does like soul sand this is probably about soul sand speed I would think but yeah that's pretty cool so different growth stages uh, that's the baby one, this little baby. You hit bo excuse me. You bone meal it once. You get to that stage. Still no berries on it though. You bone meal again. Haha, it gets berries. And you can harvest this. That's cool. You can harvest it. Um, yeah. But if you bone meal it and then bone meal it again, fully matured, fully matured amazingness, you get like, uh, what is the rate? So, the rate for this one here, the little berry, the little berry guy is drops one to two berries in the younger stage so one to two in this stage and then two to three in the fully grown and matured stage that's amazing and it supports bone meal <laughs> that's what it says in the change log change log can be found in the description you can read all about these new features and amazingness so yeah you can get two to three for this i got like three i think and with this i just got one one to two with small two to three with the other that's awesome so there's different growth stages it's super cool there's the baby, there's the there's the no berries, there's little berries, and then there's full berry. Get all full berry. And if I go into game mode, nope, not creative, survival, why can't I type today? Um, yeah, if you go into here, get rid of that, and these have different properties. So this guy, this little baby, don't have no thorn yet, don't hurt you, you still can't jump out of it. But when they get to this stage here, like no matter which one, watch, ooh, they damage me but if you see I'm standing still no damage be taken the only damage is when you move and rustle through them almost like the pickers are picking you they're picking you ouch they're going ouchy and so if you stop moving wait does it even do it no so yeah if you're not moving you're all good but boom ow 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 if you move <laughs> it hurts <laughs> hurts a lot 
So, yeah, that's really cool. Something else that was found out, I think I saw this from Cubfan, is if you are going to be taking, like, fall damage, boom. It slows you from taking fall damage. He went up, like, probably, like, 20 blocks or 20 to 30 blocks. Dropped down, and he took absolutely no damage, like, no fall damage. He took a little bit from getting out of the berries, but, yeah, that's kind of cool. Kind of different, kind of cool. I like it. Uh, for some reason, I don't have any game sounds in my ears. It might, it might be part of the snapshot. They maybe forgot to implement sounds. I don't know. My headphones aren't working, so. Anyways, uh, the berries, they give you a special little effect. Let's take some damage. Yeah, because I want to get these hunger bars gone. I want to show you the saturation on them. So what it is, is you eat, and it restores one full little hunger drumstick thing. Um, and then they add one level of saturation per um, per hunger bar as well. So if I get all the way up to full, once I get to full, it'll heal one heart fully, and then it starts to take away from uh, the saturation and stuff. And apparently, Exuma said there's a little feature that if you burp, like because you don't burp every time, but if you burp after you eat it, you get a little boost in saturation. So that's kind of cool. Kind of cool, different little thing. Different is good. Uh, yeah, so then the last change, uh, I'm gonna have to go uh, into creative mode for this and get all prepared to do it. So I'm gonna make a cut and I will see you guys in just a second. All right, so the last change that I'm gonna go over today has to do with the bad omen effect. Um, last snapshot, I didn't really cover it super well. I have a way better understanding of it now. Bad omen is based on when you kill a pillager leader, you get the bad omen effect and it is forever. It lasts forever until you enter a village. And with this week's changes, they added in um, different waves are added in. And uh, I didn't show you guys the boss bar that shows up when it happens. But uh, if I so if I killed one leader, I'd get bad omen. And uh, that would, you see, you see the little effect in the corner there? And then if I go into this screen, yeah, bad omen. Oh, I just ha I have bad omen too. Okay, so per villager leader, you get bad omen. Apparently, I didn't do the command right, and I get bad omen too. But you get bad omen one, and one level gets increased per leader, and it maxes out at bad omen five. And per bad omen level equals two waves of. I know this is it's kind of crazy. They just added this this week. Uh, per bad omen level. It produces two waves so if I have bad omen 2 there will be four waves of a villager raid but the villager raid doesn't start until you go in um, and it's pretty crazy the and oh yeah the higher bad omen you have the more likely it is to spawn you gonna start you gonna start come on start ah there it is and you see the boss bar starting beautiful uh, the, but the more bad omen you have, the more likely it is to get a um, villager beast to spawn in. So let's keep an eye out. When the bar fills up, they're going to be coming from a certain direction. Um, where they be? Oh, you yeah, guys see that the villagers are scurrying. They know the raid's coming. Ah! Aha! Oh, we got one to spawn. We got a villager beast to spawn. And there's some johnnies. So look at that. And these aren't johnnies. <laughs> I know what they're actually called. They're the, um, oh, what is it? I can't. I know what they're called. I know what they're called. I've played with them before. Illager, Illager, Illager. Um, I I don't remember what they're called at the moment. But uh, Evoker, that's what they're called. Or no, I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, so you see, they're they're uh, they're attacking. They're attacking. We got ourselves a little villager beast here, which is crazy. So let's uh let's take out these guys real quick. Bam, Monster Hunter. We did it. We win. This guy has so much health, it's ridiculous. I even have sharpness on my sword. Come on. There we go. Yeah, you get a saddle from those guys. Super cool. And you see the raid level goes down as you kill the uh, the members. <laughs> as you kill the Illager members that are with it. So you see, I kill them, they go down. And now, and now it says two mobs remaining. So this guy is one of them. Come here, guy. Come here, guy. Stop it. Hey, there we go. Oh, hey, nice. Where is the other one? Where'd the other one go? Hello? I wanted to show you guys the second wave. Where? Oh, hey, you're hiding. 
I saw your gray head. I saw your Squidward face. There we go. And now you see the raid is charging up again. And uh, they're going to come from a different angle probably. But yeah, so the raid charges up again. And uh, so we took out one wave. The second wave's coming. And as the waves increase, the more um, pillagers, illagers, and all that stuff will spawn. Hey, you spawned over here this time. Wow, yeah, you see there's more this time. And another beast spawn. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, and when you have the five, the bad omen five effect, uh, you can even get those one guys who spawn in the vex to get in here. What is up with your fist? Is it in your face? That's weird. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, you can get the uh, you, you can get the guys who spawn in the vex to come in, and uh, I think witches maybe too, possibly. I don't know for sure. Man, they do not like water. Holy. But yeah, so that is the new changes to the pillager raids this week. I think it would be super cool to you know save up your save up your bad omen and uh, get the uh, bad omen five and then protect the village from that. That'd be super cool. It, I think they need to change it though to where they can break down doors or something or glass. Cause look, they just kind of sit outside right now and just like look at him. Like look, he's he's in here, but uh, they can't do anything cause he's sitting in the corner. You know. Did I kill him? Oh, please tell me I didn't kill him. Oh, I might have. Oh, no. No. Anyways, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, if you guys want to ch check all the features out for this snapshot yourself, definitely go uh, and, you know, check them out. Uh, this was for the Java edition, of course. I know Bedrock has slightly different features at the moment, but, yeah, super cool. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like for me. As always, I appreciate it so much. Uh, subscribe if you're new or haven't subscribed already, and I will see you in the next video, which actually, I think today I'm doing double upload. Um, yeah, because I had another video planned, but then the snapshot came out. So, yeah, double upload day. Woohoo! Can I get hype in the chat? Uh, comments, not chat. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, again, so keep a, keep a lookout later. So that way you uh, don't miss it and hit the bell so that way you know when uh, the video comes out. And I will see you guys in that video. So take care. Have a great day and bye-bye.